Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First things first, sorry I haven't uploaded a full video in a while. I'm pretty lazy, but I'm here now. I hope you guys have enjoyed the shorts I've been uploading the past few weeks. I'm just lazy, so you're probably gonna see like more shorts than videos on this channel. Hopefully that's okay. Anyway, now that I'm here, basically my school is doing this thing where where we have to complete 20 hours of community service by the end of the school year, which is like not too far away and I still have quite a few more to do. And basically the local library is doing this thing where if we review books here, we get an hour of community service for book reviews. So I have two papers here so I can review two books and while I'm reviewing them, I'm also going to review them for you guys on the channel. So let's get into it. So the first book I am going to be reviewing today is probably one of my favorite books of all time. It's a graphic novel, Roller Doll. Like this book is just amazing, guys. Like if you have not read it yet, literally go get it right now. Library, bookstore, Amazon, I don't care. Just read this book. It is amazing. It's like, basically it follows this girl, um, Astrid and basically she like really she like suddenly becomes obsessed with roller skating and roller derby so basically she signs up for this roller derby summer camp and uh, she is assuming that her best friend whose name is Nicole will also sign up for the camp but here's the thing she doesn't her friend Nicole does not sign up for the camp her friend Nicole instead signs up for dancing camp with Astrid's arch nemesis. So it gets, there's a ton of friendship drama in here, but the thing that touched me the most about this book, my favorite thing about this book was the messages it shows. It like, it shows a really good message. Like one quote that stands out to me a lot is, don't run from your fear, embrace it. Because believe me, the best things in life are worth fighting for. And that just touches my heart so much. You are gonna love this book, guys. I guarantee you, go buy it. It is such an amazing book. And like, it has a, it won a Newberry Honor Award. So that means it is a good book, definitely. And after this, I low-key want to do roller derby, too, after I first read this book, so no roller derby around here, so sad, but maybe there will be someday, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get started on the review. Okay. What's the name? Don't write down my full name, just in case. I'm in 8th grade right now. And 5 stars. Definitely 5 stars for this book. I'll find title. Go. Buy. Week. Oh, yeah. Hopefully I have enough room on this line. Jamie, don't really know how to pronounce her name. James, okay. The name kind of like went into the thing. Hopefully library doesn't mind. Okay, now it's time for my review. What should I say? Wait, I think it was actually supposed to like the star review of that circle, but oh well. Just wait there. Five, okay. Alright. Okay, so what should I say? How old was she again? Wait, let me get the reference. 12, 12. 
Auf. Hier. Falls in love. My hands are getting tired. Okay, guys. So, guys, I know I like writing stories, so I should be like good at writing, but to be honest, I much prefer writing on the computer. Okay, falls in love with the sport. Dolby. Okay. 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 Okay, it needs to have an evaluation of the author writing. I think the author, Victoria, did a really good job of making this book touch the heart, guys. This book touched my heart, and I will never be the same again after reading this. Eighteen story touch my heart and it will touch yours. Ooh, that is the thing, guys. This book will indeed touch your heart. In fact, if this book doesn't touch your heart, you do not have to leave a like on this video. But really, guys, you should leave a like whether this book touches your heart or not, guys. Come on. Support me, guys. I want to be a YouTuber. And I'm not very big right now, but I am much bigger than I was before I changed my content style. So, yay! Yay! Okay, now, finally, an appropriate age range. You guys probably know this, too. Age. First of all, let me see what age range they think this book is for. Usually it's somewhere. Okay, it says it's a middle grade book, so like, does that mean like middle school or something? I don't know, but anyway, guys, I don't think that this book... I actually think that this book is pretty good for like all ages. Like seriously, guys, it really is. So, I... This book wonderful for all ages. Is that all? Wait, that's all now, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, starting. Anyway, guys, I think that this is my first book review all done. So, definitely read this book, Roller Girl, guys. You will not regret it. Anyway, time to move on to my next book review. The next book I am going to be reviewing, and the last one, is another graphic novel. Oh, yeah, God. by the way, guys, I forgot to mention graphic novel. My art style, too, by the way. Anyway, next book I'm going to be reviewing is another graphic novel called Nimona. Now, some of you guys may actually be familiar with the character Nimona because, as you can tell from this stamp right here, Nimona is actually a Netflix film that got released last year, and it's kind of popular, so you might have already seen it. But something you guys do need to know, for those who have watched the movie and not read the book yet, is that the plots of the movie and the book are quite different. Like, I know, like, movies with books, they change, like, a lot of things. But 
they changed almost everything in this book. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, the like, like, the only thing that is the same are, like, the names and, like, the looks. But even the looks are slightly different. Like, this guy's hair is, like, way shorter. Namona's hair is slightly longer. And, like... Yeah, and, like, the plot is almost an entirely new plot. However, despite that, I still think that this is a really good book. And if you haven't seen the movie yet, you should definitely watch that movie as well. Because the movie is one of my favorite movies. And, oh, by the way, guys, you may actually remember Nimona from my channel. From my Halloween post several months back on Halloween, I actually dressed up as Nimona, the movie version, not the book version, on the channel. And if you guys haven't seen that post yet, go check it out right after this video. Okay, so now I think it's time to get into my review for this book. So, name, where do I my phone? Name. Okay, one through five stars. Okay, I think I'm gonna give it a four star review because I really like this book, but it's not like as amazing as the one off here. So, like, yeah, four stars. I'm gonna circle the stars and write the number because that's what I did for the Wall Wall review. Okay. Okay, that oh, was really small. Um, but I think if I like it. Alright, but anyway, so, I mean, it's not really quiet on my face. I feel like it was nice of the O is a little. Okay, there's no reason here. Yeah, that O is way too small in my tie up. So I guess I'm rambling. I think I mentioned in the shoe customizing video that I don't know how to like cut the video up or like speed up the audio. So I kind of have to keep you guys entertained by talking. Oh, by the way, guys, do you think I should do a part two to that video? I know I said if I got 100,000 likes, I would do a part two. But something tells me I am not going to get 100,000 likes for quite some time. So maybe I'll do a part two next week. I am actually on spring break right now. So... I have more time to upload videos and not be as lazy because I get to relax when I have more energy, so. So, maybe I'll do a part two next week. Let me know in the comments. Oh yeah, guys, that's the other thing. For some reason, even though that video was not marked as kids content, neither have any of my shorts been, for some reason, the comments are still disabled. YouTube, if you are watching this video right now, can you please inform me why I know if you are disabling my comments even when I said that the videos were not kids' content? I want to know what's up there. I'm like 13 years old. I am okay to get comments. There are people younger than me who still get comments. And I'm almost 14, guys. I'm actually turning 14 next month. So happy early birthday to me. I will definitely be showing you guys a thing or two of my birthday. So stay tuned for that. Okay, anyway, I'm literally going off on a tangent here. Back to the book review. No, 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 by N.D. Okay, that name fit much better on the line than what we're going to Okay, now it's time for my review. Is a story about a. Oh, wait, no, that, that's way too close. That was supposed to be an A, not a all one at. A teen shifter who. The sidekick of the villain. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the other thing. That's one of the other differences between the book and the movie. In the movie, the guy is just a flamed villain. He's not actually the villain, but in this book, he is actually the villain. So that's another major difference. Anyway, that be a little weird. I'm gonna fix that. Villain. Wait, how do you spell the villain's name again? Okay, wait. 
looks like Ballisto Black Top. How do you spell that? Okay, here it is. Renee. The two of the oh, found the city. Chaos. Yeah, there's a lot of chaos in this book. And now for the author's writing. I think the story that the author Hold was really unique. I feel like I should know how to properly spell unique, but for some reason I feel like I did my misspelled unique here. I definitely should know how to spell unique. Actually, I'm going with it. Sorry guys, I know this is embarrassing that I don't know how to properly spell unique, but I feel like my brain has just gone blank. Look it up. One moment, guys. What is it? Okay, yes, I knew something was wrong. It's you. Sorry about that, guys. You and I really unique, guys. And yeah, guys, one of the things that makes this story like really unique is like in most books, there's usually a happy ending. This ending wasn't like a 100% happy ending, but hey, it was kind of a happy ending. So, yeah. And as for the age review, I don't think this is suitable for all ages because it does get a tiny bit violent in this book. So maybe for like teenagers, I think this book is good for teens. Who can handle strong material? Handle strong material. And I think that's it. Okay, I don't really have enough room for a period right there at the end of this. That word, but okay. I think that's it for the book reviews, guys. Okay, two book reviews all done, and both for the community service hours because, guys, I actually need these community service hours to like get my certificate of graduation of middle school and also to go on the end of the year trip, which I'm really excited for. But anyway, guys, yeah, so. Definitely read Volatil, and if you want to and you feel like you can handle it, maybe read Nimona, but definitely watch the movie Nimona. That was really good. So anyway, I think that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to upload more videos in the future. So make sure you stay subscribed and leave a like and share this video with everyone. Like, tell everyone, like, hey, we heard about this cool new teen YouTuber with Vila Tash. She's really cool, and she just gave me recommendations for cool new books. So yeah. Do that, okay? Anyway, bye!